Hi guys, my name is Julian and I'm working as a sales manager at Kumbos. In today's video, I want to talk about the modularity of the Revolution Pi Core and the Revolution Pi Connect systems. Both the RevPi Core and the RevPi Connect devices have an overhead connector which can be used to connect a variety of expansion modules. Regarding the modularity, there are some important differences between the RevPi Core and the RevPi Connect systems. So, let's start with the RevPi Core. <coughs> As you can see, the RevPi Core has two black colored sockets on the top. With these connections, we call this the Pi Bridge. We can equip the RevPi Core modules on both sides with digital and analog I.O. modules, as well with gateways. So what to consider here? Well, the maximum number of connectable expansion modules is limited to 10. This means a maximum of 5 expansion modules to each side of the RevPi core can be attached. While the position of the I.O. modules is not important, the following should be noted for the gateways. A gateway must always be attached at the outermost module. Therefore, the number of connectable gateways per system is limited to two gateways. This means one can be equipped on the left and one can be equipped on the right side. To clarify this, I will now put together a possible RevPi Core system for you. As a base module, I'm using a RevPi Core 3. I took two digital and one analog I.O. card. As well, I took two gateways, one the device net and one the profinet. Now I connect the modules via the black colored Pi bridge. So this one is the Pi bridge. Starting from the base module, I'm connecting the digital I.O. card and the analog I.O. card. As well, I'm taking the gateway device net. So I'm taking the Pi bridge and plugging it in. On the other side of the base module, I'm plugging in the black connector to expand as well the digital output card and the Profinet gateway. The same here. I take the Pi bridge, to plug it in. What is very important, and as you can see, the two gateways, one is the Profinet and one is the device net, are placed on the outermost position of the system. Now let's talk about the modularity of the RevPi Connect. The Connect has, just like the RevPi Core, also two sockets on the top. As you might have noticed, the socket covers of the RevPi Connect have two different colors. One is black and one is light gray colored. So what's the difference? The black one is the Pi Bridge, which I already explained before. The light gray socket is the so-called Con Bridge. Again, let's start with the Pi Bridge. As you already know, a total of five expansion modules, such as IOs and gateways can be connected here. Again, there is the limitation that the gateway must always be placed at the outermost module. Therefore, only one gateway can be attached to a RevPi Connect system. But what's up with the light gray Conbridge side? Well, you can use it to attach RevPi Con expansion modules. Currently, 
As of June 2020, there are expansion modules as MBUS and CAN bus. It is also important to know that each RefPy Connect system can be expanded by only one RefPy Con module. So either you take an MBUS or a CAN bus, but only one. In other words, neither IO modules nor the classic field bus or industrial Ethernet gateways can be connected via the CON bridge. Just one RefPy CON expansion modules. Now I will put together a possible RefPy Connect system for you. As a base module, I'm using a RefPy Connect Plus. Now I take two I.O. modules as well, one Profibus Gateway and the RefPy Con MBUS to expand my RefPy Connect system. So these is the analog input and output card, the digital input and output card, and the Profibus Gateway. I connect the IOs via the black colored Pi bridge. Once more, the Profibus gateway is placed on the left outermost position. Now I attach the MBUS on the Combridge side. Please note the Combridge is the light gray colored bridge. After the hardware has been put together, the modules have to be configured in our configuration software called Pictory. Pictory is a browser-based application which is already pre-installed on each of our base modules. Pictory helps you to define the positioning of the expansion modules and to give symbolic names to the input and output channels amongst others. Okay, I hope that this video gave you a little more clarity about the modularity of the Revolution Pi Core and the Revolution Pi Connect systems. If you still have any questions, please just write us a comment below this video or write us in our community forum. So for now, I'm wishing you a happy RevPi using and bye bye.